This jump demonstration shows how to calculate a prediction interval. We are using the coding dataset from the sample data directory and we'll calculate a prediction interval for the variable weight. We'll start by going to Analyze, Distribution, placing weight into the Y columns role, and clicking OK. In the Distribution Report window, we'll select Prediction Interval from the red triangle. Next, we can specify our confidence level, the number of future observations for which to construct the interval, and the sidedness of the interval. We'll stick with the defaults here and click OK. Note that the calculation of the interval assumes a normally distributed population. These results that have been added to our report show that, with 95% confidence, we estimate that a single randomly selected future observation will fall between approximately 17.3 and 23.5. Note that because we constructed the interval for a single future observation, the interval on the mean equals the interval on the individual observation, and there is no interval for the standard deviation. If we had instead entered a value greater than 1 for the number of future observations, we'll enter 10 this time, our results table will include different numerical values for all three intervals. Here, our results show that, with 95% confidence, we estimate that a sample of 10 randomly selected future observations will fall between approximately 15.9 and 24.9. The mean of the 10 observations will fall between approximately 19.3 and 21.5, and the standard deviation of the 10 observations will fall between approximately 0.8 and 2.4.